Hi everyone, this is Ellie May with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and I thought I would just share a quick tip on how you can easily change a cut file into a print and cut file that can make it a little quicker to put together. So I'm gonna come over here to my library, and the file I'm working with is I'm making some Valentines for my kids. These are just really simple files, and you could cut the pieces out of each of the colors. That's how the card is designed but I'm going to quickly turn it into a print and cut. So I'm going to open this file, double click on it and bring it in and all the little pieces are, they're ungrouped. So what I wanna do first is I'm just gonna move the card base off of my mat because I'm gonna cut that out of a single uh, color of cardstock. But I'm gonna turn these elements here into print and cut. And I can easily do that by leaving those on my design mat. I'm gonna come up here, I have letter size paper chosen, that's what I would print on. And I'm gonna choose show print border and show cut border. Then I'm gonna come up here to my registration marks panel and I'm gonna choose on. And then it's simply a matter of coming up here to my send tab and the last material I cut was sticker paper so I'm gonna be cutting this out of cardstock. And what I wanna do is I wanna select, so I'm left clicking and dragging across all of the elements on my page. And I'm gonna choose Cut Edge. And I want you to watch those red cut lines when I do that. I'm going to choose Cut Edge, and it's going to place those cut lines around the outer edge of the file. So then I can simply print this image with the registration marks, and it will cut around the outside edge. Then I can cut my colored cardstock base and I can assemble it. Now I have one other tip here. Before you go to print, you wanna pay careful attention. If I come up here to file and print, it brings up a print preview and you wanna watch around your design that the red cut lines are not going to print. Files come in from other programs and they may have a line weight to them, which means that the silhouette will read those line weights and it will print those. So I do not want this red line to show. So you wanna pay close attention when you go to your print preview. I'm gonna cancel this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to select everything. I'm gonna come over to my line style panel on the right hand side. And you can see since I have multiple objects selected, it's not going to show me a point size here. If I click off of it and then back on one object, you can see here that it's going to show as a 0 0.10 point size for the thickness. That is why it's going to print. So I'm going to select everything on the page that I want to print, and I'm going to decrease this down to zero. And when I have everything selected, it's going to change all of those to a zero line weight. Now when I come over here to file print, I no longer have those red cut lines that are going to print on my page. So I can continue through my print process. I'm going to click print. In this case, I have a stupid Windows thing. I'm gonna click cancel, and then I'm gonna send that to my printer. So those are just two quick tips on how you can create a print and cut file from your cut file. As long as your image is filled with color, then it will print that way. Then you simply select cut edge with all of the designs selected. Hope those tips have helped. Thank you and have a great day.